So, um, I'm on Snapchat and or I'm subscribed to something called Second Chance. Okay, right, that's what we're on about. Sweet, sweet. And um, this week's episode was particularly juicy. This week's episode, I was actually going to watch it, but then I saw you sent me a. Um, I didn't know you knew about it, so. Oh, no, yeah, yeah I've been subscribed for time now. It is, it's Those madness. Other episodes were dead, I can't lie. I thought they were like boring. One guy cheated on his like girlfriend or ex, whatever, and was straight up lying, and then just came out and just went, "Yeah, fine, that's not over." They're all quite similar. Like someone cheated on someone, then either the person's really brutal, or they realize, "Oh, it's just a communication error." Then I felt this up. one was the most relevant though to like a stereotype of a girl being crazy. Oh, she's crazy. I think this. Th- yeah, but th- I felt this was the most relevant episode. Yeah, she's definitely crazy, right? But anyway, people are listening who don't know the story, right? So, we start with a couple. I met Corbin when I was still in college. We vibed right away. It was hard to do long distance. We wanted to make it work, but there was just too much jealousy. Yeah, she doesn't like the fact that he was liking um, other girls' pictures that were also doing, like, fitness as well. I also felt he was too flirty with his clients. I'm a trainer. I have a fitness Instagram. So when I see other people that have fitness okay, pages, so you're gonna it's like, called oh, building them up. Sexy girl, oh, whatever. You're so sexy. You're going to like that? It's yeah. for work. It's innocent flirting. It helped me get clients to continue to make money. Like, what do you think about that? Because I'm not being funny. As, as a personal trainer, you do kind of have to... Have that flanter. Yeah, you, do, you need that kind of touch of... Of, of, of attractiveness or being attractive you know, do you know what i mean you gotta need them you gotta need um your customers you can't just back. yeah like i'm not yeah you can't just be blunt to the person you're gonna train like they're gonna be with you for what, one to two hours like it's not you need to be fun so i like, don't for the see record, anything wrong with it personally but yeah for the rep i'm 100 percent backing this guy but if it was the other way around i would i i do understand where she's coming from but i would never go to that extent so what does she do i paid her 50 bucks to hit on you. She laid a trap. She put out the bait. She laid a trap card. She put that card face down and sideways. Yep, I love that. And activated that trap. It was, yeah, yeah. I didn't watch you go in ages, but <laughs> you I just saw it. You, <laughs> the sideways thing. That, that wasn't the one. It's but, not sideways. Nah, that's um. It's only if it's like a monster. Like, we'll we'll move from that because it's it's so irrelevant, right? <laughs> This is me being a nerd. Like, like, I need to watch Yu-Gi-Oh again. <laughs> right. So yeah, yeah. So she laid down the trap, and basically the trap was she paid this girl fifty dollars to flirt with her boyfriend, and um, she took full advantage of it. Yeah, um, I'm not being funny. She wasn't even mad. Like she wasn't even mad at the girl. I think she was. No, no. Towards the end, she was, but she was like, "Oh yeah." So she told me that she slept with you. Why she was kind of she oh, kind of accepted you. that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I like I would have been mad you. at the girl first. Like if that was the real situation, I'd be mad at the girl first. Like you only paid her to flirt, not the whole way. <laughs> and she went the whole way. She went the whole like. But yeah. the interview goes on. Is it an interview? What can we call it? It's like yeah, a little interview. chat. Yeah, it? yeah, because it's like the um, uh, sad bait thing. Yeah, it's like a little interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Anyway, the interview goes on. Then um, the woman on the other end, so not the, not the girlfriend, says, "Yeah, I lied." The girl who, yeah, the girl who she paid. Um, the pay. Like the way she sort of did it as well, like the. Because the, the guy, guy asked picked, him, like, "Yeah, the guy why you lied up straight away." Like, just went, "Why are you lying?" She went, "I lied because." And she's like, "So you're not telling the truth?" She's like, "No." She was so straight up about she it. She was, yeah, yeah, but yeah, but at least she was like, and then she just went, "Yeah, I just thought." She didn't deserve you. You're such a faithful and amazing man. Like, I just thought I'd take my shot. And then the girl, uh, the girlfriend piped up. And <laughs> if you, if she never paid her in the first place, there would never be in this the situation. There would never be a mess. Yeah. Um, the way the girlfriend piped up, though, I thought was like funny. It seemed like disingenuous. Is that a word? Disingenuous. I love how she was like, um, you try to kind of home wreck yeah that's, that's like, the one that's the honest, one yeah. you kind of home wreck yourself really yeah you did it like she <laughs> that was the line <laughs> like, yeah. like we say if you never paid her she never would have flirted with him that's the one yeah i don't understand like when i was watching that's why i sent it to you straight away i was like bro this this girl is crazy like if someone told me someone's crazy this is what i'm picturing now because this is it like I this picture, is real like, um have you have you do you know us yeah, I picture like a woman with scissors, you know. She like comes oh, into your bedroom, oh. stares at you at night. What do you know about us? The movie. 
Oh no, I don't remember it very well. Never mind. It's really new. Came Who's out in it? Who's in it? Um, Lupita. I forgot her name. No, I'm not going to know that. Never mind. That's Never not mind. a common name. <laughs> it's it's the new Jordan Peele film. Jordan Peele. Oh, can you be... <laughs> I'll have to check it out. Is it a comedy or actually a horror? Horror, sick, sick. It's more of a thriller, but it's, it's sick. Because you, I'm all about horror movies. But anyway, yeah. I imagine a crazy girl like knives and. Oh, that's you. me. That's like a psycho. Oh, it's a psycho more. Psycho is like, more like threatening. Like that's it's more dangerous. Crazy is just like you know, just irrational and you know. You know, taking a lot of time. Okay. You know, like yeah. I wouldn't call this girl a psycho. She's just, she's crazy. Like, straight up. Yeah. I've never had this right. I was listening to another podcast earlier and they were saying how some girls where where they know they're in the wrong and they've been caught, they'll start crying because they know yeah, okay. a guy was, can't handle. I was in my head because I was going to say, I don't understand how, how, how to do, how do they just fake cry? Like they, they can just do it on demand. I used to be able to fake cry. It, Why? I, I, you just what you do is. Well, Did I you need it? Huh? Did you need it? It was it was like a party trick. If someone asked me to cry, I'd just go. <laughs> you know what happened? Fuck that, bro! I couldn't do that. Nah, I can't so anymore. I lost it. If a girl cries, I'm. <laughs> it sounds so bad, but like sixty percent, I'm calling. I'm calling bullshit. I'm just. Oh god, I can't handle crying. Are you mad? For real, I can handle it. I can handle cool. it. But... I'm calling it bullshit. Like I'm just. But if you don't, if you don't argue, wait it out. Imagine huh? you're in an argument. Emotions are flying. You said something. Then she starts yeah, crying. But, yeah, but who gets so angry they cry? Like I've never seen that. Well, no, never understood that. I've seen it. I've never understood how someone get. If I'm vexed, I'm vexed. I don't get all teary eyed or anything. I I see red. I'm but mad. You're like, a guy. Yeah, but I know. I know. Guys do cry as well. Yeah, like, equality, bro. Angry. Like. But two way street. Mostly, mostly girls women cry. I think, yeah, by stereotype, yeah, but I think it's a, I think it's 50 50, really. I've seen, I've seen guys like, like tear up when they get vexed. And I'm sort of like, bro, why? Calm down, brother. It's like, very it's chill. Not that deep. <laughs> like, you forget about it by tomorrow. It's like, bro, chill. Chill, man. I'll tell you what, the closest I've ever come to, um, like tearing up through anger was FIFA. Damn, that's that is angry. Come on, you can't, you can't. Hang on, you never been there. I've never. No, I don't rage oh, against games. Oh my god, I'll that's tell my you, new band name, by the way. One game, one game in particular was when I played um, you, and I'm to to this day our friends know that you just, you broke me that day. <laughs> we all the thing is, it's because you listen to everyone, play, and I just couldn't. No, I said it first. I was literally just like, bro, I'm playing terrible. No, oh, this game has broken. That's you that's why it's because you listen to everyone. It's not you're playing terrible. It's that I'm really good, man. Bro, you I'm just tr- you listen to everyone saying, "Oh, he's bad. He's bad. Um, he's bad." No, I was really good. No, you weren't, bro. Oh, we're, we're gonna move on. We're moving on. You sure? Yeah, because this is not relevant. <laughs> I don't want to be. I don't want to tear up. <laughs> this point, let's move right, on. Then. Right, then. <laughs> but anyway, back to the situation. We're so bad at staying on track. We yeah, should call this um, podcast Derailed. Anyway, nah. so um, I did some uh, background search on this show, Second Chance. Okay. And I landed on a website called Backstage. Backstage. And it's where they list auditions for stuff like Love Island America and stuff like that. Oh, and I'm I found the Snapchat really Second cool. Chance one. And um, this is what they say. We're looking for outgoing guys and girls, 18 to 26, who still have feelings for their ex. We oh, feel wow. at the end of this year, early next year, this is from 2018, so they've already filmed. But that's so stupid because like, the, anyone can apply and that's already been proven. Do you yeah, remember, um, have, you seen that, have you seen the one with the guy where he won the dating show and at the end he was like, uh, i got to go. Yeah, yeah, Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, cut, what the fuck? Why? No, it wasn't cut, Jubilee. He entered with his girlfriend knowing and the girlfriend supporting him and saying, yeah, just go have fun. It's like, what? I don't get that. Why would you go on a dating Why show would you... if you're yeah, a girlfriend? Like, what, then he what, won what, as well. It, it just what, like ruined it. You? Yeah, it was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, even the production ca- cast was just like, oh, shit. But in, in fairness, do you not think the first question should have been, are you single? 
Well, no, it's a dating thing, so you assume no, but they're I mean, single. Production cast, like oh, the like interviews. Not yeah, her, sure. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. Her. Like, of course, she assumes they're single, but the people who brung, like, who selected the guys, the the only thing, the only thing they had to be was single. The rest was down to them. Like, well, that was, that was poor planning. It would be, be good if they're over eighteen as well, but you know, it's whatever, over sixteen even. Yeah, I didn't need to bring it. There, I will, did I? Yeah, I'll fully call you out, bro. Right, <laughs> let's. Let's clap on one. Anyway, it continues to say, um, it is a quick one day shoot. You'll be flown out to New York for the weekend. So that's mm-hmm. cool. You get a trip to New York. Unless you live in New York, then you get a trip uptown. <laughs> you know? If you live in New York, there's no point signing up. Yeah. What's a trash opportunity. Oh, dear. It continues to say, these are the requirements or the. No, this is the, the, like, it's called production description. Mm hmm. Everyone who has Snapchat will be tuning in. If you want more followers, this is the show for you. Last season got 8 million views. So... Yeah, it's peaking the interest of like, you know... just wanting clout. Social me- Yeah, social media, like hungry people. Yeah, clout hungry, that's better. Yeah, clout hungry clout people. Clout chasers, as they're called. Clout chasers. Yeah, like... You have to think, everyone on that show then is a clout chaser. Because they obviously click for that reason. And the last bit, in all caps, it says, not looking for long-distance breaks, uh, breakups, looking for long-term relationships only, juicy breakup sto- stories only apply. Then what? you actually get paid for it. They get paid $300 each for doing it. I can understand that. that makes sense. So why I brought that up is I have a slight suspicion some of that was fake. Well, the way it was shot, I feel... Wait, which bit's fake? As in, not like the producers knew, or maybe the producers didn't know, but as in, they were like, they probably are already back. I feel like they probably were already back together, but they were like, look at this opportunity we have. Let's just I extend thought, this beef a bit. And I we can... Was, my bad, my bad. Um, I thought it was like poor acting on the girl's part. Like, it just didn't feel authentic from her side. He seemed 100%. Like, I was like, yeah, this guy's actually got... A, a bit of a crazy girl. Um, but when she started talking about, oh, you're trying to home wreck us, I was like, what? Like, it's not really working. And you can kind of sniff it out that I, I, like, it wasn't completely real. Do you know what I mean? That's what I, I feel like. And like, I feel like how they got back together at the end, they were just like, yeah, I go think on then. It was too, it was yeah, too it was easy. Too, yeah. There was no so, I need some time. Like, and also, it was the guy asking her for the that second made no chance, sense to me. which yeah. made no sense. Um, well, I think that was just a ballsy like move on his part. But personally, I'm gonna ask you the same thing. Um, if if a, like if my girl did that to me, she paid someone to flirt with me, got lied to, then had a go at me, I I probably would need some time away from her. Like, wouldn't be broken up, but I just need some time. Yeah, I don't think I could. I don't know. I think I'm, after. I'm not talking about months or anything, but give me like a week or something because literally I need to reset my brain. You've literally distrusted everything I said. You firmed the whole thing. Um, like you backed your own opinion. Didn't trust like what I was saying at all. Didn't listen. She didn't listen to him at all. Mm. Like, come on, when you watch it. So yeah, I'd definitely take a week off at least. Like, need some time to chill, you know? What about you? I couldn't go back to them because they didn't trust me. And I feel like trust is one of the biggest things in a relationship. I thought I'd break up with them, but I think give it some time and maybe maybe I would after, but I need like a I don't know. Up. I don't think I can go back. I'll, I'll, I think I'll be done. If they can't trust me that much and they go to that extent, extent nah, no chance. No yeah. chance. I would 100% wouldn't be asking to get back with her, though. <laughs> she would have to ask me. Oh, she'll, she'll have to be on her knees. After she pulled that shit, after she pulled that shit, yeah, for sure. <laughs> she'll be used to that anyway. What? Um, so, speaking of crazy women, we've had Cardi B flash up in the news lately for... Do you want to say this one? Bro, I love Cardi B. I can't do this. You can't do it? You want me to say it? Bro, it's, it's a hard one to take. So, years ago, Cardi B made a video... Um, basically exposing herself that she used to drug and rob men and specifically she would say to them you do the same what fam if a guy got me into his room she was out knocking she invited them back she invited them it's just a hustle isn't it 
Oh, brother, I think you like her way too much. Yeah. Brother, I love Carly B. Like, bro, that yellow, to this day, made me feel like a bad bitch. But you have to open your eyes. If the same thing happened to Rick Ross, and then now they're saying, oh, Kelly, like, fucking hell. She, she's going to face some sort of repercussion. It can't, like, otherwise, there's, what is equality then? If she's not facing the same stuff with that they're facing. Uh, no, but on level, like, it's hard one because obviously Cardi B, I love her music. Like, it, yeah. it, it lets me release my inner bad bitch. But at the same time, what she did is completely wrong. Fucked up, yeah, completely. like, for real. Because so, when I heard it, I was like, oh, another scandal. But she, uh, she straight up admits it. I was like, wow, you did this. But like, did- I guess she was um, surviving or it was like a struggle, but can't, like I didn't think it would ever have to come. But she's not proud of her actions. Like, I'm not dogging on her as if she's like um, saying, yeah, so what? She's not proud of them. And that's why she's not mentioning her songs. But do you know what I mean? Like, it's still there. It still happened. Yeah. So and like, the thing is, obviously, no one's actually come out to say, oh, yeah, she did yeah, that, you Yeah, you said that. And I was like, that's a good point. Like, why? So technically, like, there's nothing against her, really. I know she said it, yeah. But like, really, she could just say it. But I want to know what she drugged them with because... Um, <laughs> I want to use it too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if none of them have come out, it means none of them remember. You would hope not. Well, she would hope not, like, being exposed to that. Because imagine admitting um, you did a crime and no one claims to be a victim. Like, you could have kept it quiet the entire time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if there's no victim, there's no crime. Like, like when you fart in, a, in an assembly and everyone's just, like, looking around. Like, nah, you know bro, that? it's when you fart in public, like, in a supermarket or something. you got a jet. You, you got know the one jet. I've never done, never experienced, or anyone has. Finding in a lift one day, I just want to experience it. Bro, no, the airplane is probably the worst because it's a narrow aisle. Everyone knows if you're the only one standing up and you're crop dusting the place, that's you. Everyone knows it's you and you've got to sit back in your chair. Everyone knows you as the guy who keeps fighting in 27B. Bro, it's embarrassing. Nah, but like, if you, you know, the them ones when you're desperate, you know. And, uh... that's no reason though like you can hold it in that's a proof it's not healthy but it you can definitely hold it in no when you're walking to the toilet and it's it's there you know your, tur- your turtle I don't ready, know why like, that's like the optimum time to let it out like why you can't just wait till you go in I always it's... have that it's like you. I'm like walking home right I know I need toilet but I'm kind of good then I get then I get to my door and I'm like okay I need the toilet well, now it's the pre-gas that tells you how bad you need the toilet. You not find that? It's just warning. It's like a trailer. It's yeah, Is but you feel like, I am. like one of them, I don't know, one of your like I don't like to say the words, but pre farts or whatever. One of them, you're just sort of like, oh shit, I need to go. Like, this is bad. Do you know what I mean? Or, or the pain in your stomach. That's all Yeah, 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 like that, like that. But do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. A little teaser. Like when it's wet, you know, okay, I had something wrong. Oh no! Right, that's too far. No. Okay, let's go back to the cafe. <laughs> it's wet. All right, I'm done. So back to Cardi B. Yeah, so she robbed. Uh, she drugged and robbed people. Um, Do you know she... what I appreciate about it though? What she hasn't apologized. How she can she? Because we don't who, know. Who? We don't know her struggle. And plus, who too? It's like. The only people that are offended are people that are like, if this was a man, da 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 da. And I, I to be honest, I am on that side. Like, if it was a man, yeah, they would. No, I'm saying, yeah, well, I was, that's what I was about to say. Like, there's equal repercussion that has to be taken. Like, Rick Ross lost sponsored by Reebok. So, Reebok. She, she, Reebok. Was it Reebok? Reebok. Okay. Really? 100. Oh, have a okay. I'll shut up. Go have a look. Fully oh, well, lost, sure. um, now I'll take your word for it it's cool lost um, don't make a difference anyway he lost the sponsor that's the important I, thing I, I thought it was Puma sweat but yeah fair oh enough. my days no right. no no I, talk, I, I I'll agree. talk and you you just look at it I up, agree right? I agree I basically agree. look I, I feel that the minimum repercussion she should be taking is a loss of the sponsor because you can't promote this kind of behaviour like with the whole Tory Lanez thing we would literally me, me and you were just saying that with his music at the moment, not intentionally, but we've kind of boycotted his music. Yeah, pretty much. Not because I just every time I, I just think about it. Yeah, after like hearing that 
um, he pulled up on Dax and um, forced an apology, robbed him. Like, you can hear in Dax's voice, he wasn't, like, scared he was going to die because he knew all he had to do was, like, compromise. Like, not compromise, um, cooperate with what he was being told to do, which was apologize. That was it. And he'd be fine. But the look on his face is just like, bro, you can just definitely tell this guy has been held at gunpoint. And it's just like, yeah, and all this over losing a challenge that you set up. How are you going to challenge all rappers and get finished by three of them and then be mad at only one of them, which is so weird. Like, it wasn't, he did like a whole live um, uh, FaceTime video with, um, uh, Joiner Lucas and they were fine. They were gassed up. They were like like all pals. To be honest, rap beef is mostly marketing anyway. It is, yeah, because it can be fake. Like the whole KSI Logan Paul thing. Um, I right, to be honest, I was just trying to watch. I watched it because I was like, I want to watch two guys I dislike beat the shit out of each other. I was okay with that. No, because they were making money. Everyone's kind of winning in the situation, so they didn't bother, didn't bother me. But it's fake. I find like a lot of rap beef can be fake. You not find that? Yeah, yeah. That's right. The only real one that I find so far is um six nine. Because he's going to jail for it now. Well, what do you mean like? He's being indicted for like um setting up a hit on um like Chief Keith and that as well. Never you know knew that. that. Never he was knew. beefing other rappers. Never knew. Oh and no, I knew he was beefing, but I feel like his so- boys, his boys who he trusted set him up. Yeah, yeah. Well, wow, this guy got fully betrayed. Like this, fr- like that's some real rap beef. Like, and to be, like, I don't know much much about American culture, but I know Chicago is a rough place. So Chief Keith, like, I just there. there, Chicago. Yeah. Ain't biggie. Nah, shut up, bro. I'm I'm as hard as nails. Nails ain't that hard. Well, bro, but, like if yeah, hammers, bro. If I fall on concrete, the concrete breaks. Man, you're not a Nokia phone. What do you think you are? I- I'm a brick. That's what I am. No, you ain't. All right, let's. <laughs> I love this, right? So with like, so with Cardi B situation, I think we can both. Agree. Did you hear her statement on Instagram? What was her statement? I've never glorified the things I brought up in my in the. Lo- I've never glorified. Can you read, brother? Hold on. I let's can pause read. This. Let's pause this. Can you read? Because I can read. This is happening a lot now. I, I was trying to do it in a weird voice. That's why it was it was it was um failing. I can barely talk, so reading is a vazine. Reading is a new challenge, right? Do you um, want to send it to me and I'll read it? I've never glorified the things I've brought up in my life. I never even put those things in my music because I'm not proud of it and I yeah, feel yeah. a responsibility okay, I not to glorify it. I made yeah, the choice I, I made the choices. <laughs> Thing is when I go to apologize, you're you talk and I'm like, shit, I've, I've done it again. Okay. Uh, I'm a sharp. I'll sharp. read the whole thing, then we'll talk. I made the choices I did in the same time because I had very limited options. I was blessed to have been able to rise from that, but so many women have not. Whether or not they were poor choices at the time, I did what I had to do to survive. The men I spoke about in my life were men that I dated, that I was involved with. That I was involved with men that were conscious? Conscious, you know, aware. No, yeah, it just didn't make sense. That I was involved with men that were conscious, willing, and aware. I have the past. <laughs> I don't know that she put Bro, conscious she and aware. Comments. I don't know <laughs> that she put conscious and aware. Because now like, the first conscious sounds like he was just awake. <laughs> like, like, that's literally all it sounds did like. Did you drug them or did you? Like, like, look, what? He's alive, basically. That's all, like, <laughs> I robbed them alive. No one died. That's literally all that says. But okay, I can respect. So when I was first like like searching into it, I can respect that she's come out and said, look, I'm not proud of them. And that's why she didn't glorify it. So she feels a responsibility not to glorify it. Fair enough. But to say it's just about a struggle is very difficult because you need to be a little bit more detail uh, about the struggle. Do you know what I mean? Like just to say it's a struggle, struggle is defined differently to other people. So, I, don't know, I, th- I think struggle is okay. Personally, anyway. I find that me eating pasta every day is a struggle. I eat pasta every day anyway, by choice. Probably. Well, for me, it's a struggle because it's like... Well, it's it's, I guess it's not your choice, is it? I guess that's what defines struggle. Mine is struggle. not a choice. So do you, do you see what I mean? My struggle to someone else is luxury. So like 
I'm not saying she was in any luxury state because this is before her fame, but she needs to describe in like better detail what her struggle was because she's, always she's like, robbing people. Jeez, you need to explain what the struggle was. She's always been semi famous anyway. That's the thing. Well, yeah, but when was this? Like, she was on a TV yeah. show called Love and Hip Hop. No, 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 I know that. I mean, but this is not stated like when these robbings happened. Oh, like, this, yeah, this is happened before that, probably. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. So she needs to explain her struggle. Like, to say, like, I'm not going to speak for her, but um, I don't know. Imagine she was living on the streets and that's the only way she could get money. That to me is a struggle that kind of rectifies what she's done. Like, not to say that what she's done was at all right, but you can understand why she did it. I can't imagine being homeless, but if I was homeless and desperate for money, like, who knows? Maybe she was, she was even like renting a place and the only way to keep up money was to rob people. Would you, would you suck dick for money? Like Ja Rule? Fuck oh. no. Okay, cool. Ja Rule, no, not Ja Rule. The, um, that CEO, I can't believe you saw Oh, that. no, it was the other guy, wasn't it? So no, it was funny. the other guy. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, that's so funny. But like, like no, but I think, let's say if you live in Harvard. <laughs> didn't that guy go to the most prestige yeah. college in America? <laughs> that, wouldn't you? And... <laughs> I find my clever friends have no common sense. No offense. Uh, to me, <laughs> he was gonna suck dick to for save water a fam. festival for water. <laughs> oh jeez, I'm dead. That's so funny. Like, <laughs> could you imagine? Like in the moment though, of it, like as him, I'd be like, I can't believe I went to Harvard. Like, <laughs> this is what's Southern happening. Grace. <laughs> oh, they didn't teach me this. Oh. Dude, didn't me. teach me how to suck dick. <laughs> oh, negotiations part three. This is too funny. Like when I watched it, I did crack up because I was just like, this guy. Um, I I can't remember the main guy. Ja Rule was like a uh, friend, the guy who was actually the criminal. Can't remember his name, but <laughs> I would be so angry if I was even asked that. I'd never agree. What? I don't I've got care no water. what. I'll give you I've... water if you suck my dick. I would. <laughs> Someone says that to me. I'm like, bro. I'm, I mean, I'll my stay thirsty. My thirst is quenched, bro. I'm good. Like humans can survive two days without water. I think I'm good. Brother, like the festival is only ten days. I think we're, I think they'll survive. They'll be okay. Oh my days! I could not believe it. Anyway, so what I was saying was um, it's kind of the real struggle is if she was living in someone else's house and trying to use their shower. Now that that's a struggle. Okay. Wait, well, why? Because it's complicated. Fam, other people's showers are mad. Well, I'm not being funny. Every time I've used someone else's shower, I 100% have had to ask them every time to be like, yeah, can you um, can you sort this out? What I don't get is why don't they standardize showers? Yeah, I don't understand why they make so many different designs. Like One just, design for right, every shower. The, no, no, no. Have the design like as different as you want it, but just have it as press for on, and a dial for the temperature, and then a like press on a, a, again to turn it off. You know, like that's all you need. Why has it got to be all these different buttons? Do you know? What the ones are like two dials. It's like why do you need a second dial? Why for? do you need two dials? Like what the fuck? Like it's the ones like the power of the shower. And it's like, yeah, oh, like what? what the fuck? Just just get in. Oh my days, my it's too much. It's too much. Honestly, sh- I, showers. I, I, I think you should, there should be like a degree in in like. Operating there's a, showers. There's a degree in like um, David Beckham. So it's probably a degree in operating showers. There's, yeah, there's probably there's, yeah, probably. I think it's called engineering. That'd be yeah. making showers, wouldn't it? Not necessarily. Engineering's not always building stuff. Well, you're just telling other people to build the stuff. No, but you fix it. Oh, like oh no, yeah, you're right. No, yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, my, bad, know, my bad. My bad. Not my necessarily. Bad. My bad. Like, my bad. Yeah, that's calm. I do, I do step down. And Rick Ross, yes, you were correct. I, I swore as Puma. Brother, I actually Rick. cannot believe you searched it. Ah, oh, why couldn't you just trust me with this? No, because I genuinely, someone... I genuinely thought it was Puma. Like I was dead set it was Puma. My God, just have some trust was... in my research. I've been thorough. I know what I've been looking. At. Right, let me type in Rick Ross Puma into Google. I bet something will come up. Oh my god, let it go. I didn't even care about no, the Puma. No, I, 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 I admit you were correct. But I, I was just set it was Puma. Right, okay. But it is what it is. Man, now nah, with um, Cardi B though, um, we were saying this earlier. So 
Um, with the Tory Lanez thing, we ha I have been boycotting his music, and so have you. I just don't want to have to do the same with Cardi B. I feel like it's <gasps> there. Sorry, yeah, I found it. Brother, I do not care. Right, he says, the "Fuck tab, you, bug, we the the tab. It's not worth it. <laughs> My goodness, right? So I'm just afraid I'm gonna have to boycott Cardi B's music. Like, I feel like it's coming on. Like. I'm seeing her in summer. I'm gonna have to wait till after that. Yeah. But yeah, I'll do it after that. Oh, uh, I'm just unworried. I have to boycott it. I love her music. I do. Barty Acardi with her and Offset. Mm. That is a bop. That's a, that is such a good song. With um, Twenty One Savage. Offset's in it, no? No. Oh, he's in the music video. My bad. My bad. He's only in the music video. Is but he not in the song at all? No. I know Twenty One's in it. You bitch from Pyro Savage. I don't eat pussy I'm first yeah, yeah fuck okay my bad my bad but anyway that, that song like her her whole album was actually really good to be fair oh Invasion of Privacy was so good yeah, uh, honestly <laughs> her next album should be called Invasion of Consciousness nah nah we'll think of a different one <laughs> <laughs> oh my days Rob You Blind <laughs> Oh my god. Invasion dude. of your home. <laughs> Ask for some questions on Instagram. And okay. through the heap of responses I've got, I've picked one. So this one comes okay. from yeah. Katie Anna underscore. She says <laughs> I can't remember a question. If a shark and a lion had a fight, who would win? Right. So let obviously it's uh, the terrain is gonna have to be I was gonna say, where is the fight? Right. Yeah, so we'll have to do one of each. So what were the what were the animals? A shark and a lion. Shark and a lion. So Oh, that's such an unfair question because I'm not gonna be funny. On land, lions got it. You know, sharks can't really they're not mobile. But water mate, in that's why I have an irrational fear of the sea. Sharks are mate, do you know how quick they fucking swim? No, not really. Do you know how they attack you as well? They come from underneath. Yeah, but if you're lower than it, it's fine. But they... Oh, my God. So, you know how you can't um, see that far through water? Like, when you're wearing your goggles and stuff, you can't see that far. Like, it just goes deeper and deeper blue, right? Yeah. You're looking... I'm not I'm not talking, even talking about looking down, looking away. Yeah. So, even if a shark, like, is near you and you see it, the second it swims away, it can see you anyway. It's like, I don't know, being in... um. Call of Duty having a sniper and someone's just not within range to see you because they don't have one. That's how their vision is. And so they just swim down. You don't even know it's down there and it comes up and gets you. Brother, I they... could take a shark. No, mate. Are you serious? Okay, okay. Just give uh, it a quick look to the nose. Uh, I've... Oh, okay. I was going to say, yeah, you answered it then. So the nose is the key thing you got to hit. And yeah, despite, yeah, all right. Despite knowing where you got hit, I don't know, but, but I can't punch quickly in water. Like, bro, I wouldn't be able to get. Nah, out. I'll give it a good, good kick. Nah. If it's underneath me, bang, mate! It's getting a right boot to the or right foot to the nose. Flipper. It'll be. Flipper will just stroke his face, and he'll just bite your foot. That's it. It will just stroke his face, where he'll fold in half and stroke it with his tail or something. Why would it fold? Wait, what's folding? The shark, the body. No, I'm saying you stroke his face with the um, with the flipper if you try to kick him. He didn't get much power on it. I don't think his flipper rich riches his nose or his fin or whatever. No, his nose. His face. Where's his face? What are you talking on about? On the front of his body. I don't know. Exactly. So if you're trying to kick his nose, it's on the front of his face, right? Yeah. So if you go to kick him with a flipper, it's just going to stroke his face. Oh, right. You're talking about my flipper. No, I mean, I don't, I don't do flippers. About, brother? I thought you meant like, they don't it's have flippers. flippers. Have That's fins. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying is a bit weird. Why would a, a shark have flippers? Brother, anyway. Oh my God. Right. <laughs> nah, I'll give it a good boot with my foot. That's what I'll do. Oh, I don't think so, mate. Mate, if I'm wearing those school shoes, I'll have 99 power as well. I don't I'll know why I'll be swimming my... in school shoes, but you never I'd, know. I'd accept my death. Like... The day... You look like, ah, oh, man, I'm, I'm not going down without a fight. Fully, I'm a firm believer that there is a megalodon shark out there. Like, yeah, and like like every other shark, give it a good two two boots in the nose. Do you know how big the shark down. is? Do you know how big the shark is? Yeah, but do you know how strong I can kick? 
of people who know me will know that I'm obsessed with this. People like, who know me will know the one goal I ever scored in, in 11 aside football was a banger of a free kick. What's the free kick got to do? He ain't going to give you a free kick. Well, he's coming holly, at me nose first, isn't he? You volley that bitch. Exactly. Yeah, you scored a free kick, not a volley. He but he had that power. Volley. That's what I'm saying. The power translates. Oh, my days. You're going to get fucked up by a shot. Oh, mate. I'll, I'll, I'll take on a Megalodon any day. Oh, my God. I, I don't even think you know what that is. No, I do. It's a really big shark because they, they fight with squids, with giant oh, squids, don't they? Foot. It's 60 foot. Bruv, we barely... We it still barely... has a nose. How many feet are we? I'm not very many, but... Yeah. <laughs> so, so tell me, how are you going to... It's 10 of you. <laughs> it's like 60 of me. But anyway, like... Bruv, it's 12... It's 12 of you. You think you could take 12 of yourself? Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's just get one thing clear. It's 11 and a bit, right? Let's just... Like, I'm not five foot, <laughs> right? It's 11 and a bit. <laughs> Uh, 11 <laughs> it's a le- exactly yeah let's just just right. make that clear you could take 11 of you mate one of me is hard enough uh, to take exactly that's what I'm saying so you wouldn't take it like right bro I would have Megalodon anyway moral of the story um I would no we, sorry mother we were asking um we were answering uh that girl's question that girl's question you know who she is calm yeah down. fine alright we're not big yet <laughs> my girl Katie <laughs> Uh, my G. So, um, yeah, on land, definitely. Pretty much, Katie. I'll beat both of them. It doesn't oh. matter which one of them two would win. Katie, you've seen Tabor in real life. He, um, yeah, he's 11. I'm swamped 11 now. Of a Megalodon shark. I am wham, as they say. <laughs> I'm oh. bolo. As they say, bolo. I've never heard that. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to introduce as much slang as I can. To uh, what's bolo? Bolo me Wham, swole. Same, same difference. Really, I never, I've never heard that. Sw- I hate that word, swole. Swole. I don't understand. swole, like it's the most arrogant thing. Thank you, what the fuck is that? Thank you for the question, right? Katie yeah, Anna underscore. Thank you for the question. Um, did you hear about the airline that got cancelled? People wait. were literally sat on a plane and they got told, like, yeah, sorry, this flight's not no longer gonna carry on. The, the whole airline's been destroyed. 